Welcome to this video which will show you how to quickly and easily create and solve your first optimization model using Frontline Systems Solver products. Let's start with a quick orientation of our model. Imagine that you are a manager of a factory that produces three products, LCD TVs, stereos, and speakers. Your job as manager is to produce and ship a mix of products that maximizes your profit subject to the amount of available inventory. Each of the three products require different parts and have different profit points. For example, an LCD TV requires one chassis, one LCD screen, two speaker cones, one power supply, and two electronics packages. And it sells at a $75 profit. To calculate the number of parts used in production, we multiply the number of products produced by the number of parts used. We can perform this multiplication easily using the sum product function. To calculate the number of chassis used in production, enter the sum product of C6 through E6 and C10 through E10. This is the same as entering the formula C6 times C10 plus D6 times D10 plus E6 times E10. We can calculate the profit in the same way. Now we are ready to enter this model into Solver. Frontline solvers offer multiple ways to enter a model. We could enter a model from the ribbon using the Decisions, Constraints, and Objective icons, or we could use the Task pane by pressing the plus icon to enter our objective, variable, and constraints. In this example, we will enter our variables, constraints, and objective using the icons on the ribbon. To enter our variables, simply highlight cells C6 through E6, click Decisions, Normal. When a cell is added as a variable cell, the cell will appear in the task pane. Here you can see our three cells listed under normal variables. If we wanted to change anything about this entry, we would simply select it and make our changes below. To enter our constraints, first highlight the left-hand side of the constraints in cells G10 through G14. Then click Constraints, Normal, Less Than or Equal To. We will enter the right-hand sides of our constraints in the constraint field. Simply select H10 through H14, then click OK. If we check the task pane, we see that cells G10 through G14 must be less than H10 through H14. This is the same as saying G10 must be less than H10, G11 must be less than H11, and so on. Again, if we wanted to change this entry, we could simply highlight and make our changes below. Since it is impossible to make a negative number of products, we will add a lower bound to each of our variable cells by clicking the Platform tab, scrolling down, and entering zero for decision bars lower. Finally, we need to add our objective. Select cell G16, select Objective, Max, Normal. And here we see that our objective has been added. Now let's choose the engine to solve the model. All of our Frontline Solver products include a feature that will automatically choose the best engine to solve the model. Simply confirm that Automatically Select Engine is selected here. To solve, click Optimize Solve Complete Problem. In a fraction of a second, Solver was able to find a solution to the model. Click the Output tab. We see that the model was diagnosed as LP convex, meaning that all constraints and the objective are made up of linear functions. We also see the final result message and the total time taken to solve the model. If you aren't sure what the solver result means, you can simply click the hyperlink to open the solver help. If we look at the spreadsheet, we see that by producing 200 TVs, 200 stereos, and no speakers, we end up with a total profit of $25,000. This mix of products results in the highest profit attainable subject to our inventory constraints. As I've shown, it is very easy to get started with Frontline Solvers. Once you start using our solvers and becoming more familiar with them, you'll find that they can handle even the largest and most complex models to help you make better decisions. We recommend that for your next steps, you download a free trial of Analytics Solver Platform from our website. Additional videos are available concerning both optimization, simulation, and data mining so you can see for yourself the power and flexibility of this product. Lastly, we are here to answer any questions or concerns that you may have. Feel free to email or call us at your convenience.
two.